From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. And welcome to Jack Van Impey Presents. You know, I've said it a hundred times, I'm sure, and maybe you remember me saying it. I wish that we could be with you personally. But what a joy it is to come into your home or wherever you watch this program and share with you some of the most important uh, issues of the day, some of the most important things happening in this world. How about this first one? Terror spree, unrest, Europe's leaders, they're all upset over there. They can't get over it. What is happening? It's terror everywhere in almost every country. And then American authorities fear terror networks already in the United States. Can you imagine that one? They're already here. And ISIS in the Sinai threatens Jews, Israel, and Rome in a new video. They want the threat out there and they're determined to do it. Now, you know, friends, uh, this is one of the most important programs that we could do for you. I'm going to go back about a year. And it was when Jack was in the hospital. One of our guests brought me a picture of something that was going on out there, a billboard. I want to put it on the screen right now and I think you're going to remember it. Find Jesus in the Quran, 345. Call us for free Quran. What? All right, let's go on here. One family, one message, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. Peace be upon them all. Well, yes, peace be upon them all. But you can't combine the two religions because you can't put two opposite religions together and say they're the same. Jack, when you were in the hospital, I shared this with you, and I'll never forget yeah. what you said. Do you want to tell our friends? I'll tell you, it was really an experience I'll never forget. I was supposed to be in the hospital for four days to get a new stent. Well, when they opened me, everything had collapsed and deteriorated, and they gave me a 20% chance to live. Instead of being four days, I was 150 days and 62 days in a coma. And Honey, I love you. Aww. She came every day for 150 days and sat there for five hours. What a woman. Mm -hmm. And the doctor said, you're alive because she cared. Well, I got the message from one of my board members, Dr. Carl Ball, who called Rexel and he said, do you see the signboards up around the country by the Muslims? I says, it, it's unbelievable. They've got, it's the same religion, same Quran and Bible. Join us. And so I started to really get into the books on Islam. And I want to tell you, they are the biggest liars this country has ever seen in any religious group whatsoever. What do they really teach? And I've taken time to read the Quran through so that I now know. And tell you that's all fake what they said. You saw those 135 billboards across America claiming it's the same religion. Now let me show you something. They said, and this is Allah speaking, their God, that if you believe that Jesus is a member of the Trinity or the Son of God, you will burn in hell forever. Now does that sound like your Christian Bible? Here is where it's found. These are surahs, like chapters. Surah 4, 5, 6, 9. And then you jump over to 17, 19, 23, 88. 
eight times, you'll burn in hell forever. Now, what does this book say? 1 John 2, 22. He who says that Jesus is not the Son of God is an antichrist, and I think that really sums up that religion real good. And they've gone even further. They have torn Jesus apart, that he did not die on the cross, that he was not resurrected, that he lied to the public, and when he comes back, he's going to smash every cross. You don't believe it, Greg Sully? Show us. That is the ISIS magazine. And yes. Look what they're carrying. Yes. Well, you know, friends, we all know that the most cherished part of the Christian religion is the fact that our Savior, Jesus Christ, Son of God, died on the cross. Now, take a look at what their magazine is promoting. The Beak magazine. Look at the bottom. Break the cross. Break the cross. And going on, another uh, part of it. Break the cross. Oh, my. My heart is so moved. See that guy up there? He's trying to get a cross down and break it. There, breaking the cross. Now, here we are. I'm going to read just a little bit of this. When the Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary, returns in the end days to battle the Antichrist, the false Messiah, they're talking about Jesus and his army of the myths, he would debunk once and for all are those of his crucifixion and divinity. This will be when he, what, breaks the cross as was foretold by the prophet Muhammad. Well, something else I'm going to put on the screen right now. Jack, would you like to read that? The, those are surahs, of course. They did not kill Christ, nor did they crucify him, but they thought they did, Surah 4, 157. They said in boast, we kill Christ, Isa, the son of Mary, but they kill him not, nor crucified him, Surah 5, 157. If so, the Jesus of the Quran is an imposter and not God incarnate. He that chooses a religion other than Islam, it will not be accepted from him, Surah 385. Now, that's the biggest bunch of trash and garbage I have ever read in my life and I've been under threats by this crowd and I don't care I'll speak up for my Jesus because you're not going to get away with it there's 1600 cults in America and most of them hate Jesus and I'll tell you what you've just done to Jesus is unforgivable and I will speak up now, what does the Bible say? Jesus said in Psalm 22, 16, they pierced my hands and my feet. Does that sound like crucifixion? Mm. Listen again. I declare unto you the gospel, Paul says. What is that gospel? Verses 3 and 4 of 1 Corinthians 15, that Christ died, he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now, you Muslims who don't believe in the cross of Jesus Christ are hell-bound sinners. I don't care if you like it or not. I've got a book that says so. The preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God unto salvation. Where is that again? 1 Corinthians 1, 18. Now, you don't believe it? Galatians 1, verses 8 and 9. Though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. That's a good strong word. As we said before, so say we now again. If any man preach any other gospel than the death, burial, and resurrection, let him be accursed. There is only one way to heaven. Without shedding of blood is no remission of sin. And the Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sin. Don't try to get around it. You can't. That doesn't match with your Bible. And you guys can lie all you want. And I read in your Quran, all you have to do is say, Takiya! And it's all forgiven. What a rotten thing. The blood of Jesus unto Christ who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. 
Enough said. Oh, Jack, it's so very, very serious. Well, you know, I think that they answer our questions themselves. I was shocked when I read this next headline. Take a look at, please, please what they say. Ramadan, of course, uh, that's a very uh, sacred time for them. A time to kill for Allah. Oh. God help us. Going on, threat to Europe from Islamic State takes varied forms. And terrorist free and settles Europe's leaders. I read that to you right up front of the program. They are very, very upset. And of course, Germany's uh, leader, Merkel, and France, Hollande, they are really upset at what's going on in those two countries. Terrorism in Europe, poised to expand. Europe is on the doorstep of the Islamic State. My, oh my. And then London deploys 600 extra police following terror attacks across Europe. They're having it all across the UK. And then London police chief, it's not if Britain is hit by terrorists, but when. They're expecting it. They're anticipating it. Oh, my heart goes out to them. And ISIS hit list targets. 700 U.S. Army soldiers. Kill the dogs. Now, you know, these soldiers, they have, they have them by name. And they're ordering terrorists to go out and kill those particular soldiers. That moves my heart. We better wake up. They got hundreds of them in America right now with kill lists to kill the Christians. American authorities fear terror networks already in the United States. And we're not the only ones. Canada also lone suspect dead after anti-terror operation in Ontario town. Now he was again a 20-year-old young man from Winnipeg. That's where he came from originally. And Belgian police hunting teenager. My, did you notice something here? Teenagers all over the place. Teenager who pledged to kill all Christians in online video. Now this was a 15-year-old young man. Oh, my. And Islamic State claim, Belgium machete attack. Can you believe it? They said, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take responsibility. Muslims slaughter 13 Christians, run hundreds off their land. And China province terminates social security for practicing Christians. No more pension. Oh, can you believe it? All the way over into China, no aid for them. And Islamic State boils six accused spies alive in tar. What beasts! I can't believe it. You know, they're killing their children. If they won't do what they want them to do, they'll boil them alive. In tar! They, yes, in tar. It's hard to understand the mentality of this particular religion, Jack. They're willing to do anything yes, to anyone. Yes, yes. Well, you know, I, I'd like for you to sort of tie this all together, if you will. All these different countries. Well, I, I want to read this next thing, Rex. All right, I'll put that on yes, you. Yes, I mean, put I'm, it on right all now. All right, sabotaging its miserable house. Very, very important, if you'd like to read it, Jack. Yes, this is concerning Pope Francis. And I want you to know that Bishop Sheen, John Paul II, Benedict XVI and scores of the leaders are telling us in our video that they, we've made on this subject that this Pope, who is a communist, Marxist, because most Jesuits are in South America. And there have always been two popes, and we didn't even know that. The one from the Jesuit movement, the other from the Roman movement, who sat in the Vatican. Well, listen carefully sabotaging its miserable house. In 1991, by a member of the board of directors of the Muslim Brotherhood in North America, and later obtained by the FBI, sets forth the group's mission as a grand jihad in eliminating and destroying the Western civilization from within, and sabotaging its miserable house by their hands and hands of the believers. The most odd audacious recent move in the great game of strategy is the offer by Al-Azhar, Islam's most important university, to renew relations with the Vatican. Relations were broken off, get it, when Pope Benedict XVI announced the bombing of a church in Alexandria, Egypt. 
In an overture to Pope Francis, the Grand Ayman of Al Azhar said that relations could be resumed if in one of the Pope's addresses he were to declare that ism is a peaceful religion. Imagine. Oh, Benedict was under a death threat, and that's why he's not serving right now. He's under guard constantly. What did this Pope do? Guess what? Islam seems to have had some success. Pope Francis, in his first apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, asserted that authentic Islam and the proper reading of the Quran are opposed to every form of violence. Bunk! Yes. I've read it many times, and they've got Sharia law. And even the guy that's now the mirror of England says, it's going to be wonderful now. That's what he thinks. They got that one gangster already running around there killing everybody as a Muslim, uh, it's not going to get better. Now remember that the report I'm seeing in my video about this Pope comes from the lips of St. Francis of Assisi, after whom this Pope named himself. What a crime! It comes from Bishop Sheen, who said, this Antichrist and false prophet will be one of our cardinals. This is the great television preacher 50 years ago in America, the world. Then Pope John Paul II warned that this one would come, and so he chose 22 brand new cardinals and said, this way we might avoid him, and he got in, Pope Francis. And furthermore, ladies and gentlemen, Pope Benedict said, I was always afraid that this one would come to power, for he would be the false prophet that rules with the Antichrist. And he's already done 11 things against the Catholic Church. And I get the Vatican magazine, and many of them are really upset and complaining. Would you say, Jesus, there shall be false Christ and false prophets, Matthew 24, verses 5, 11, and 24? But wait a minute, listen to Saint Peter the one they called the first pope. Second Peter 2, 1. There were false prophets among the people, as there shall be false teachers among you who shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord Jesus. This pope is already up to it. Oh, he's going to make a lot of excuses. And let me tell you something. He hates the Jew. He sat in the movement with the Palestinians, and he raised his fist and talked about Sheikh Guevara, the man who's killed thousands in South America, and he said, I want to be the Sheikh Guevara for the Palestinians. Why? Against the Jews. God help us. We are in real trouble, but we're not, because it's the last sign before Jesus comes to set up his kingdom on earth, and then we won't need any more popes for our King of kings and Lord of lords will be sitting where? In Jerusalem. Boy, I'm going to tell you all about that next week. Jesus, yes. Oh, it's a great story. Mm, absolutely. Well, what could be the best thing that could happen right now? Don't you agree? It could be the coming of our Lord. Jesus said when you see all these things happen, I am coming back to set it straight. The truth will be told when the Lord comes. I want to back up just a little bit before I go on with the other headlines. Did you know how many headlines I read about torture and killing and all the rest in so many countries around the world? That's something that they do in order to take over, isn't it, Jack? Well, the man who heads up the great Egyptian university for the Muslims. Mark Gabriel tells that they have murdered 300 million Christians since the Crusades. Now, is this what the Bible teaches? Oh, the Quran and the Bible are the same. Listen, we don't believe in that. In Exodus chapter 20, verse 13, thou shalt not kill. What happens if you kill a man? 21.12 of Exodus, he shall be put to death. Leviticus 24.17, he that murders a man shall be put to death. But not so in Islam. You get 72 virgins for it. What a mixed up mess. I'm mad, yes. Be angry and sin not. 
and I'm going to stand for my Lord. I'm going to speak up. Now, they teach Sharia law. And under Sharia law, you kill your daughter if she has premarital sex. You kill all homosexuals. You kill all the apostates. That's anyone in their group that says one word against Allah, the Quran, or Muhammad. And Muhammad had 22 wives. But that was all right. Plus, when they have war, they can take all the virgins that are captured and rape them all night long. God calls that adultery, and God calls that sin. And God says you'll end up in hell if you murder and have all these sexual escapades. Where? Revelation 21.8, the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone. And I'll tell you, you're not going to have 72 virgins. If you did, you couldn't enjoy them because they'll be in hell with you. And here's what goes on there, Luke 16.23. The beggar died, he was carried into Abraham's bosom. The rich man said, Father Abraham, have mercy. Send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I'm tormented in this life. And every one of you that lie about this Jesus, everything you're doing, that's where you're going to end up now. You Why all this killing? Galatians 6, 12. Listen carefully. Persecuted for Jesus' sake. Verse 14, listen to what they said. The Apostle Paul, God forbid that I should glory in anything, especially that I should glory in the cross of Christ. Amen. That's real Bible Christianity. Your group, Dikia! Lie all you want, you're not going to get away with it. Mm. Well, the Bible is firm, very firm on some things, and certainly God expresses what's going to happen. Well, a new video was just released. I'd like for you to see what it's all about. ISIS in Sinai, that's the Sinai Peninsula, threatens Jews, Israel, and Rome in a new video. Netanyahu, radical Islam is existential threat, just like Nazism. The Israeli ambassador to the United Nations, Dan, and says 120,000 Hezbollah missiles aimed at Israel. I've got to ask Jack this question. Are they going to destroy Israel? At, oh, all those missiles. N never. I'll give Israel an everlasting name, Isaiah 56, verse 5. That's Yahweh God speaking. And Jesus is going to set up the kingdom here on earth. It will be a Judeo-Christian government. Both groups just like the writing of the Bible. And it's going to happen soon. And Jesus sits on that throne in Philippians 2.10. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Not Muhammad, not Buddha, not Allah. Jesus. Amen. Mm. And I'm going to ask you a very serious question. Have you ever bowed your knee to Jesus? Have you asked him to be your Savior? That's why he came, to be our Savior, Son of God, Savior of the world. Will you pray this wonderful prayer with Jack, asking the Lord Jesus to come in to your heart. Bow your knee to him, Jack. The blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanseth every sin. I don't care what you've done, how often you've done it. If you'll bow your head right now and say, Jesus, I'm sorry. Cleanse me through your precious shed blood. Will you pray it? Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth and the life. There is no other way. And it's your holy blood that saves Jesus. I trust in the merits of the cross, what you did for me that day. And right now I ask you, come into my heart and save me. Amen. Oh, if you made that decision, please write to me. There's my address. I'll send you this little booklet, First Steps in a New Direction. Wonderful. Welcome to the family of God because you bowed your knee and accepted him. We have a wonderful, wonderful offer for you that um, you really need to pay attention to an order in just a moment because it's Jack Van Impey Answers 35 most outstanding questions about Christianity and Bible prophecy. 
you got some questions? You need to really have this because it'll answer all of them. And when you order this, I'm going to be sending you, will it happen this year? Oh my, oh my, it could happen this year. Now here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive Dr. Jack Van Impey's answers to the 35 most startling questions about Christianity and Bible prophecy. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. Oh, my friend, to order, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JBI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapy Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapy Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now, once again, here's Rexella. Thank you so much, Chuck, and I just want to encourage you to make the call. You really need to have this wonderful offer, and don't forget, I'll be sending you a gift. The wonderful Will It Happen This Year, and of course, Jack is astounding when he goes right ahead and explains all the things in the Bible pertaining to the coming of the Lord. I want to leave you with this thought, friends. You know, if you look around, you'll be depressed. And if you look within yourself, you'll be distressed. But if you look to Jesus, you'll be at rest. How wonderful Amen. to look to Him and Amen. to have the peace of the Lord in your heart in these troubled times. We'll look forward to being in your home again next week. And until then, always remember, God cares for you, so do we so very much. Bye-bye.